Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Accidentally capturing grain in your clips is an extremely common problem. So today I just want to walk you through the very best ways to avoid it. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly what is causing your grain and how to work around it the next time you go out and shoot. So if you've ever shot a video and played it back and realized that there is a ton of noise in your images, well, that's what we call grain. And it typically happens when you are shooting in low light or with a high ISO. Now the good news is with a few simple tweaks, you can really easily work around this problem. The first thing and the biggest problem that I see people doing is shooting at an extremely high ISO. In order to avoid a lot of noise, you want to keep your ISO at a relatively low number. For me, I usually start with an ISO of 100 to 200 and then work up from there until I achieve my desired exposure. But keep in mind, the higher and higher you go, the more grain you will start to see in your images and videos. I generally try to keep my aperture and shutter speed lower so that I am able to shoot at a lower ISO. And that brings me directly to my next point. Another great way to avoid grain in your images is to be using a low aperture. Lenses with an f-stop of 1.8 really allow you to achieve this because the lower your aperture, the brighter your image is going to be, which means that you can actually use a lower ISO when shooting in a low light situation. So actually buying a lens with a lower aperture can greatly affect how much grain you have in your images. Now, my favorite lens is actually the 16 to 35 f 2.8. This is a fantastic lens. It shoots great in low light. And I actually did a review on it a couple years ago. If you do want to go check that out. Now, when it comes to photography, one of the very best ways to avoid grain in your images is by shooting in raw. Shooting in raw just gives you way more control over your image in post-production. And when using programs like Photoshop or Lightroom, you can easily reduce the noise in a raw photo. Another really easy way to reduce noise in your images is to find a really well naturally lit area that you can film or take photos of. Because the area is extremely well lit, it means that you won't have to bump up your ISO as much as you would have if the area was really dark or really poorly lit. And generally, when it comes to shooting and trying to avoid as much grain as possible, I try to keep my aperture as low as possible, my ISO as low as possible, and then my shutter speed, I will try and double the frame rate. So if my frame rate is 30, I try to keep my shutter speed at at least one over 60. I wouldn't go lower than that, but I can go higher than that. So if I'm shooting on a really bright sunny day, my aperture might be f6, my shutter speed might be 1 over 250, and my ISO might be 100. Just for you to get a general understanding of how these settings may change in a different scenario. If I was shooting in a low light scenario where it was particularly dark out, my aperture may look something like f2.8, my shutter speed might be 1 over 60, and my ISO might be 600. And I know that can get a bit confusing, so please don't hesitate to reach out if you're still not fully understanding why you're getting grain in your images. Anyways, with that, that's gonna be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you are able to go out and shoot and totally avoid any grain in your images from now on. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Peace.